What is up YouTube man? Welcome back to another video. It is your boy Mouse and you already know man it is Sunday. Uh, man we are going to be unboxing uh, Terra Amps MD3000.1. We're going to be going over a few little things with it. Um, a few other things that we got going on with this amp specifically. But make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like, drop some comments along the way. Um, and you know let's get to the video. Alright so the Terra Amps MD3000.1 just actually came in the mail last night. Let's go over the box real quick. You know, nice little brown box. Uh, we have a label here that says MD3000.1. Uh, it is a two ohm made in Brazil. Before we actually get started on unboxing the video, uh, you can actually win this specific amp uh, in a giveaway that we got going on. Um, information on the giveaway is on the description of this video. So go ahead and hit the description um, and you know, try to test your luck. Giveaway ends March 31st, so you still got plenty of time to get entered. Uh, we do have a $5 entry, a $10 entry, $20 entry, or if you really want to test your look, we got a $50 entry. Uh, purchasing each entry will get you a certain amount of entries in. Um, obviously, the more entries you buy, uh, the better chances you have. Um, and enter at your own risk. Um, it should be a good giveaway. Uh, drop down in the comments and let me know uh, what should we give out for second and third should we give away a hundred dollars for second place or a set of speakers or should we give away fifty dollars for third place you guys decide um this is a giveaway for you guys uh, drop down in the comments and let me know and i will make that happen for you guys i am a big 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 fan of the tear amps um they do make other amps as well too out there in the car audio industry but me you know like i've had nothing but luck with the tear amps some people use them, some people don't, but the cars and all the builds that I've seen with them, man, they're bangers. They're serious, serious bangers. You see, in my personal vehicle, I run Terra Amps as well. You know, here we actually have the giveaway amp put in my truck, uh, but, you know, we have a whole brand new amp for the giveaway, but this is the one that's in my truck. I got a, a Terra Amps MD3000.1. There is a HD3000.1. I got a 5000.1, and then I got an MD 1800.1 and then a DS 250 slash one tear amps underneath as well too. If you've been subscribed to the channel man you definitely saw the progress and all the build videos on the Silverado build which is my truck um, my truck uh, all the tear amps power mids and highs and subwoofers and I've had nothing but good luck with them. Amps have been nothing but good to me man we, we show out every show that we go to and that truck is very good. Uh, this amp specifically is a 2 ohm load because um, when I did somewhat a poll in one of the videos everybody requested a 2 ohm load amp. Um, everybody did put either 1 ohm or 2 ohm but obviously 2 ohm won it and that's why this amp is here guys so let's go ahead and open this guy up real quick okay so last night the amp actually got delivered semi late uh, it did come sealed up with a tear amps tape on it but I went ahead and I sliced it open just to make sure everything was good with the amp um, so I could just keep going forward and I didn't have to return it or anything but I went ahead and I did the, the slicing so now let's open this guy up Okay, so first thing we see when we open up the Terra Amps box is we see the amp and we have a really cool Terra Amp sticker. You can go ahead and stick this on your toolbox, um, hard hat, uh, the back of the window of your truck to let them know, man, you're rocking Terra Amps. We have a beautiful, still wrapped up MD3000.1. Look at this thing, guys. Man, this thing is beautiful. I love seeing these things. Very nice white amp, uh, black uh, front face on it with the Terra Amps logo and the, the MD3000 logo as well too. Here we have little lights that say protect, clip temperature, and on. These let you know if the amp's on. Uh, clipping this will flash if it's struggling, uh, and protect will let you know when the amp is shut off. Uh, this one will stay, I think, blue. This one will flash blue rapidly, depending how high you got it and what type of voltage you got going on. And then obviously it will uh, blink red or just stay solid and red when that thing is in protect and it's no longer working. And I love these hair amps. These things are good. The Brazilian amps, like I said, some people use them, some people don't. But the people that do use them, man, these things are putting down some power. The side profile of the amp, it has a smart cooler fan on one side. Uh, a lot of people always tend to say that the fans are really loud. 
but honestly, you know, I've had the fans kick up on my truck, and I mean, they're doable, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you get annoyed easily by noise, obviously it's gonna be annoying, but I mean, if you're putting in that work and that system's working, um, and you want that, that smart cooler amp to work to make sure your amp stays nice and cool, um, do its job, and then you're just gonna, you know, deal with it. Uh, next, we have the power inputs. Uh, tear amps tends to separate power and ground so they don't go nowhere near touching each other. Uh, the remote wire isn't in the center between them, but it does have, it uh, looks like you could put a nice four gauge in it. Um, Allen key screws as well. Uh, I've actually tried to put reducers to get dual four gauge in her, but it didn't work. Uh, you could probably, you know, put a gauge in it, but more than likely you're going to have to cut some of the wire strings down. Um, and you really don't want that. You know what I'm saying? A nice, solid 4-gauge power wire will just do the job. And, you know, make sure to fuse your amp at the power wire to make sure that the fuse eats it before the amp does. Um, like I said, as long as you have the right amount of power and the good ohm load that it takes, this amp will perform 1000% guys. On the other side we have the speaker inputs that you could probably fit 8 gauge for speaker wire in it. Um, on my MD3000 I actually have 10 gauge run into them because I have mid bass um, running for my amp for my MD3000 that I have in my truck and I have two 12s and two 10s connected to it mid playing mid bass and I got 10 gauge run into that guy. Um, here on the other side we have the RCA input um, they have, you know, up their com like building components. So like these are solid. I remember when the Terra amps first started coming out, like you can push on it and it will move a little bit. But nowadays they're pretty solid. Same thing with the uh, the knobs. Back in the day, you could, you know, you get your finger and move it, and you could probably feel that whole board just shaking. But nowadays they're actually pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? They're solid. You know, so um, they're actually putting more thought into building their amps because they know have they have a good product. On the center of the side of the amp, we have the the gains and the crossovers and the bass boost. Um, you have a level, you have a high pass, you have a low pass, you have a frequency, and then you have a boost, uh, which is a bass boost. Then you have you have the telephone line input that you can connect a um, indicator light that you can have in front of the car with you to see what this is doing versus if your amps in the back or in the trunk or something you can see what this is going on in the front I actually do have an indicator that I can include for you guys uh, so you can make sure you monitor your amp uh, you know close to your radio or if you have EQs so you can just keep an eye on it and make sure that nothing's going crazy with it um, this amp you can use it for subwoofers and for mids and highs you know either or it's gonna work really good Subwoofers, man, I've used the Terra amps, the actual base series amps, um, and I've actually used these MD series amps too. The base amps are still good, don't get me wrong. They actually play a nicer bass, low frequency filter through the sound, but man, these MDs just slam with like power. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I prefer the MDs over anything, um, whether if it's mids or highs or subwoofers. Uh, man, these things slam and they get it. They're nothing but pure power. Same thing with the mids and highs. If you connect mids and highs to this guy, this thing is going to talk. But you're going to have to know how to set everything or if you just want to go the extra mile and use a crossover or a DSP, that will help as well too. But I actually got a video on my channel that will explain to you how all these settings work if you want to check it out. Um, man, it's a very good uh, video. Um, I learned a lot about this when I was wiring up my Silverado and it's a pretty good detailed video to let you know for you guys to get the best settings for your sound system, whether if you're using for subwoofer or for mids and highs. thing that I like about these amps is that they're actually very small, so you can place them anywhere. These things are very, very nice. Um, they're very, like, regular size weight. They're nothing too crazy, um, you know, so pretty much you can stick this guy anywhere. Um, if you do stick it on the back, back of your box, or your subwoofer box, uh, just put, like, rubber, you know, washers or spacers in it just so it's not bouncing, you know what I'm saying? It'll just give it a nice solid stance whenever the, the bass is beaten. The Terra Amps MD3000.1 here at the Mousetrap Car Audio Channel, we're gonna give it a thumbs up. If we can give it two thumbs up, we would, but I gotta hold one of the, I gotta hold the amp in one of my hands.
this amp specifically could be yours uh, if you enter my one month giveaway that I am doing on this guy. Like I said, we have a $5 entry, a $10 entry, a $20 entry, and a $50 entry. If you wanna support the hustle, um, you can purchase a ticket um, through Cash App or Zelle. Uh, all the information and the Cash App tags and the Zelle tags, everything is in the description of the video. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to DM me on my Instagram. Uh, right here, I'll put my Instagram. Uh, but anyways, the, the Instagram name is MouseXTrap. Feel free to DM me for any questions or to let me know that you guys have entered. We do have some people that have already entered, man. So shout out to you guys. And I do appreciate your support and good luck. And hopefully one of you guys walks away with this app. But down in the comments and let me know, should second place get $100 or a pair of speakers? Um, and third place, should it be just $50? You guys let me know in the comments. This giveaway will be for you guys. Um, and we probably will be continuing to do a few giveaways here and there for you guys. Uh, give you guys a chance to win some car audio pro products for as little as $5. So that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, this MD3000.1, man, it is street certified and it's gonna deliver anything you want from it. Mid, mid bass uh, speakers, subwoofers, all that, man, they, they, they do work with this app. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a good Sunday. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this video, subscribe to the channel, drop some comments, enter the giveaway, and definitely hit that like button because it helps us put this channel out. So I hope you guys have a blessed and stay safe, please guys. Um, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.